it's Thomas here, and in this video, we're going to be exploring the Nouveau Peninsula Pro Tanks from Innovative Marine. These are some of the nicest all-in-one nano tanks out there. So if you've been looking for a sleek little all-in-one tank for your next reef build, stick around because you might like what you see. We'll also go over everything that they come with, plus some of the things you're still going to need to set them up, and I'll even give you some gear recommendations for affordable options to get those roles filled. So let's get started. Picking out the actual aquarium to be the stage of your reef is a pretty tough decision to make. The tank itself is what keeps that slice of the ocean neatly in place, and every last detail from the type of glass used to the dimensions and even the available furniture to set it on will all come into play when you're picking out that perfect glass box. While standard glass aquariums can definitely get the job done, and I've used plenty of them myself, Modern reefers tend to be a, a little bit more discerning when it comes to their prized coral display tank. High clarity glass that doesn't tint your view, a rimless design for a sleek look, perfectly straight silicone, beveled edges, and other premium features just aren't something you can get out of a standard tank. Not to mention, if a peninsula style all-in-one tank is your goal, you got a fair bit of DIY work ahead of you if you're gonna use a standard tank. Innovative Marine's Nouveau Peninsula Pro Aquariums are affordable yet stylish all-in-one nano tanks that are definitely worthy of housing and displaying the hard-earned bounty of your reefing efforts. They use thick, high-clarity glass with beveled edges, bonded with immaculate black silicone to create that sleek, rimless look. The Peninsula style is one of my absolute favorites and puts the filtration panel that would normally be on the long back panel onto the side, making for a fantastic three-panel view that offers two larger viewing panels and a single shorter viewing panel, which can lead to some very cool and creative aquascaping. That well-hidden filtration system includes a quiet DC controllable pump, media basket, and filter sock, as well as a magnetic glass cleaner and mesh top to keep your fish safe from escape, plus a pile of optional gear like skimmers and reactors, not only from Innovative Marine, but other companies as well. In many ways, these are fantastic little all-in-one tanks, not only for beginners, but also for serious nano reefers. But before I get ahead of myself, which I often do, let's go over everything that you get in the box so you can see what these Nouveau Peninsula Pro Tanks come with. When you receive your Nouveau Peninsula in the box, you'll find the aquarium itself with the leveling mat pre-installed, the Mighty Jet DC pump and controller, the custom caddy media basket, the Purity Pack media, which will already be in that basket, as well as the filter sock, magnetic glass cleaner, and pre-assembled mesh top. The Nouveau Peninsula Pros are available in two sizes, a 14 gallon as well as a 20 gallon. There is also a concept series drop off style peninsula for those who want something a little different. But for this video, I'm going to be sticking to the two classic rectangular models. Both the 14 and 20 peninsulas share the same roughly 12 inch width and 13 inch height, with the only difference in dimensions being the 14 is 20 inches long with six millimeter thick panels, while the 20 is 30 inches long with eight millimeter thick panels, giving you an extra 10 inches of length for aquascaping, coral placement, and swimming room for fish. These all-in-one tanks are fantastic looking and well built. The thick glass used to make these tanks is high clarity and low iron and has beveled edges, so you get the best representation of the colors of your fish and corals. They also have pin straight black silicone for a sleek and clean look and a black filtration panel along with a black tank wrap to keep the filtration elements neatly out of sight and a subtle internally etched logo up near the top of the tank where it is viewable but barely noticeable as not to distract from the view. The peninsula style of these tanks look fantastic with a three-sided view and they can be used as a room or desk divider, but it also works incredibly well for those who want to use an LED backlight to give their tank a more dynamic and captivating backdrop with the filtration built into the side of the tank. Both the 14 and the 20 peninsulas are definitely small enough to go on top of a sturdy desk or a countertop, but for those who want a dedicated stand, Innovative Marine has some really attractive aluminum pro file APS stands that perfectly match both of these tanks. They're available in black as well as white and provide storage underneath to hide away any aquarium peripherals like additives or foods to keep your room free of that aquarium induced clutter. Innovative Marine also includes a number of filtration 
filtration components with the Nuvo Pro Aquariums, you have two options for the first chamber. You can choose from either a standard filter sock or a custom caddy complete with their Purity Media Pack consisting of fiber balls for mechanical filtration, a ROX 0.8 carbon pouch for general chemical filtration, as well as a high capacity GFO pouch for phosphate control. Although you can also just as easily mix and match any media you like into that custom caddy, whether it's plain old filter floss or bio media. The center chamber of the filter is large enough for a number of small skimmers or media reactors and can even be converted into a refugium with relative ease, but we'll dig a little bit deeper into the add-on gear in just a bit. Thankfully and thoughtfully, to keep your fish safe, Innovative Marine includes a nicely fitting mesh cover that is pre-assembled, taking that somewhat stressful job off of your list. It has knockout corners to allow cords to pass through for any flow pumps that you might want to put in the display tank. With both the 14 and 20 models, you'll get a DC controllable Mighty Jet pump with a max flow rate of 326 gallons per hour, along with all the plumbing ready to go. Being a DC pump, it is very quiet and also has the ability to increase or decrease the flow rate to better suit the needs of your particular reef. However, most reefers are likely to leave it at max. With that said, the controller also offers a 10 minute feed button, which will definitely come in handy for keeping food in the display where your fish and corals can get to it. So on to the big question, what else will you need for these tanks to get them ready for your sand, rock, fish, and corals? Well, with the basics already covered, you'll only need to choose which heater, flow pump or pumps and lighting you'll want for your reef. Of course, most reefers will also opt to put an auto top off on a tank of this size to keep things a little bit more hands-free. But before I get ahead of myself, like I usually do, here are some great options to fit these Nouveau Peninsula tanks. When it comes to heating these small all-in-one tanks, Innovative Marine does have one of the most reliable and compact heater options out there with their Helios heating system, complete with a heater controller and a magnetic mount for the very compact heating element, which is a really nice feature on its own since the back of an all-in-one can get cramped pretty quickly once you start adding gear. They are a bit spendy though, and for those who want to be a bit more conservative, the BRS 100 watt heating system is another fantastic option that includes a heater controller and a reliable titanium heating element that uses standard three prong plugs and it will take up a tad more room but ultimately it fits nicely. When it comes to lighting there are tons of options but one of the most popular bang for your buck solutions is the AI Prime. Not only are they going to provide lots of par for all types of corals including SPS and a fantastic spectrum that will make your coral colors pop but they'll also give you all of the premium features of a flagship LED light including app control along with a number of great mounting options that will easily fit these peninsula tanks. Not to mention they are also one of the most affordable flagship LED lights out there. Plus, if you're like me and you want everything to be matchy-matchy, you can actually get the AI Prime in both black and white, so you can match it up with your APS stand. Alternatively, if you want to keep things simple and stick with some softies and lower light LPS corals, the Aquamax Prism lights are another great option that will keep some extra moolah in your pocket so you can splurge heavier on said soft and LPS corals. The corals you put in your tank are definitely going to need ample flow, and while the Mighty Jet is going to do a great job of getting water through your filtration system, a small flow pump inside of the display can make a big difference not just to your corals, but also the overall health of the tank. There are a variety of tiny and affordable AC wave pumps out there that will do a great job like the CJ Voyager Nano Pumps, but a single DC controllable wave pump will take it to a whole new level, and one of the best options out there for these small nano sized tanks is the Nero 3. It has an incredibly tiny form factor for such a powerful little pump, along with fantastic app control for easily creating dynamic flow schedules with various flow patterns and intensities to mimic the natural water movement found on wild reefs. Just one of these pumps hidden against the back wall of the tank will do a great job all on its own. Plus, if you do end up going with that prime LED light, both it and the Nero 3 share the same app, which is super convenient. Like I was saying earlier, most reefers are likely going to want an ATO. Although it's not essential, topping off water by hand every day can get pretty tedious, and there are a number of great options that fit these tanks. My favorite of which being the JBJ Dual Sensor Nano ATO. It's tiny, reliable, and also includes a guard to prevent false readings and reduce algae buildup on the sensor. If you do want to keep to a tighter budget, the Reef Breeders Prism ATO is also very small and works very similarly while shaving off some features to keep things more budget friendly. 
Because these Nuvo tanks have been around a while and they're so popular, not only can you find a number of options for protein skimmers and reactors right from Innovative Marine that fit the back chambers of these tanks perfectly, but you can also find a pretty wide selection of them from off brands as well, meaning you can kind of customize the filtration system of this tank to best suit your budget and your needs so you can flavor it to your particular style of reefing. For example, this eShop's Nano Skimmer as well as this Aquamax FRS Mini Reactor are both a great fit. So if the Nuvo Peninsula 14 or 20 matches your nano reefing mantra, you can pick up one of these beautiful little aquariums by clicking right here. What are you gonna do with the tank? I don't know. I guess now that the video is done, I can set it up. What haven't I done? Maybe I'll go macroalgae dominated. I think, I think I'm gonna go mac, macro, macroalgae, macroalgae, I got you. Honestly, Tiger Boy has inspired me. Are we still recording? <laughs>